Short of a civilization-ending revolution, solving the debt crisis means saving the 1%. They have the power and the money. They own our government. And they won't go down without taking the rest of us with them. So instead of pushing them even further into the corner of fear and corruption, we need to help them find a way to get out of this mess. And that means helping them understand how they got there. It started way back in the Middle Ages, when lords enjoyed total control over land and people. The 99.99% worked the land and served the lords, who created no value at all. Then, around 1100 AD, people who had always been completely dependent peasants invented the marketplace. They traded goods, developed local currencies based on the grain they produced, and ended up prospering. Money kept moving between them, creating wealth. That's how a peer-to-peer -peer economy works. But the aristocracy wasn't participating. Their power was dwindling. They didn't know how to create value and needed a way to make money simply by having money. So first they outlawed local currency. If people wanted to trade, they'd have to borrow coin of the realm from the central treasury at interest. The rich made money with money and creating nothing. Then they invented the chartered monopoly, or what we now call the corporation. The king gave just one firm the authority to do business in a certain industry. Anyone else had to work for this one company. Instead of competing for business by creating value, the corporation simply extracted value from its exclusive territories. Instead of moving between people, money was sucked up and out of the economy. You think you're scared? Talk to the heads of America's corporations. Over 600 years, they've extracted all the wealth there is, but don't know how to make a profit with it. Corporate profit over net worth is near zero. They have no skills and no vision. The 1% need to face the fact that they might actually make more money by helping people create value instead of actively preventing it. What would that look like? Right now, companies like Google, eBay, Square, Kickstarter, or even PayPal or Apple, for all their faults, are at least pointed in the right direction. They create tools that give people the ability to create and exchange value with one another again. They understand that real value creation comes by fostering the peer-to-peer -peer transactions of a bottom-up marketplace, rather than simply repressing such activity. We need to begin now by abandoning the fruitless quest for gainful corporate employment and instead work for ourselves and one another. We must stop outsourcing our savings and investments to banks and stocks and instead invest in the people and businesses in our own communities, however we define them. In doing so, we'll quickly create demand for the kinds of networks, supply chains, and services that only larger companies can provide. We will give the 1% an opportunity to re-educate themselves, to find a path to success, and, for the first time in centuries, to experience the guilt-free satisfaction of working for a living.